Hey, what's up everybody? It's Vic, and today we have a special fun project. It's one that I've been wanting to do for years. I'm at Sonoran Roots and we are designing a 420 custom Jordan 1. Sonoran Roots is proud to be locally owned and grown in Arizona. They were named the best flower brand in Phoenix for 2022. Sonoran Roots cultivates artisan grape flower for the explorer and the connoisseur. The custom Jordan 1 we're creating is for the head cultivator Joel. Joel is a mad scientist and he has a strain he created called Joel's Lemonade. So they thought it would be a great idea to give him some sneakers since he's a huge sneaker collector. With a project like this one, I can really push my creativity. I'm excited to use some unique materials to build these sneakers. This is going to be a massive project, so I think I'm going to need some help for this one. Welcome back to the studio. This project we're working on is going to be insane. But in order to make this project happen, I had to bring one of the best in the game. I got the homie Jordan on set. What's going on? How are you? Doing good, dude. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I will say, the 420 releases that happen every single year are some of my favorite ones. I always look forward to them. Um, and I'm really excited to get this project. Same here, man. 420 is one of my favorite holidays of the year, so it's <laughs> gonna be months. fun. Let's go. Let's check out the mock-up. Let's do it. All right, Vic, so here's what I have so far, um, and I just wanna walk you through kind of the design and what I was thinking when I was putting this together. Uh, the dark green that you see is all dark green calfskin. Uh, the way I like to make my sneakers is mostly using calfskin. I like it because it's supple, it's soft, it, uh, it has really, that premium look. Too. It has that premium look and it really feels great on foot. Um, the tan panels that you see here, I was thinking about doing hemp, organic hemp material itself. Right. It's a little too thin to use on the shoe just by itself, so I figured we could put that over top a piece of suede that really does look very true. I like where you're going with that. And I saw the material earlier, so I think I know where you're going with that, dude. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're gonna distress some areas to show some of that suede, right? I think that's a great idea. Yeah, I would love to have that suede popping through that hemp just a little bit, um, is a little peekaboo effect. That same, uh, that same suede we're actually gonna use here on the collar as well. So we still will have a section that isn't gonna have hemp over it, and it'll still display that interior. Dude, these colors look so good. The color blocking looks like something Nike produced itself. Also, like including colors from the bud, Sonoran roots, it's gonna be a sick combination. Two questions though. Yes. What are you thinking for the Jordan logo and the tongue tag? So the Jordan 1 logo, the wings logo on the side, I was thinking we can hot foil stamp using a like a yellow, orange. I think orange would be a nice touch. I love the orange. I think it'll maybe tie in the ember aspect of it. Um, I know Joel's Lemonade's got some orange on it. When it comes to Sonoran Roots, <laughs> one of the biggest strains is Joel's Lemonade. It has a little bit of orange hair, so it's a good way to incorporate that. I like that. I love it. We're gonna have a nice uh, kid skin liner, dark chocolate brown. It'll really premiumize and elevate and tie in a lot of those brown pieces that that we have. Um, and then like you said, we have that beautiful turquoise, the callback to Sonoran Roots um, swooshes on these is, is I think really gonna tie it. Bro, I think it's gonna be one of the sickest customs we've ever built on set. Let's do it. Go. Dude, this is one of the sickest materials I've ever seen before. The purple fibers, this straight up has a 420 vibe. I totally agree. We got this custom made in Italy <laughs> from an amazing tannery out there that does some really great stuff with suede. Um, and yeah, this olive green with, like you said, those light purple tones right on the top is insane. Yeah, 100% customs. Chances are you're not gonna find this in stores. You will definitely not find this in stores. Um, so really the next part is all we're gonna do is trace out our pieces that we're gonna be um, putting our hemp overlays on and cutting those out. Cool, I'll let you take over. Let's get to it. Yeah, the material that I ordered from Italy was was a suede that kind of had a two-tone effect to it where the main suede was olive green color and then it has these fibers, these light purple fibers that are coming out of the fabric. So it really looks very botanical. It looks very much like flower does. Um, so I ordered that from a tannery in Italy who I'd seen do a couple of two-tone kind of hairier suedes before. Um, and that was one of the options that they had and I decided to get that custom made and, and sent over here. They did a great job with it. It took an extra couple of days <laughs> than we expected. So it gave us a little bit of, uh, you know, made us sweat a little bit, but I think overall it was well worth the wait. All right, we have our pieces cut and prepared. I knew I wanted to use hemp material um, in this build. The hemp pack from 2004 is one of my all-time favorites, so I kind of wanted to pay an homage to that. So we cut some of this out and cut and burned some holes that we put on top of this wonderful suede. Big has some right here. That's right, we did four of them already. These are two of them, they came out so sick. Me and Jordan are stoked on how it's looking. Simply what we did was use an X-Acto knife to cut out random shapes, really organic with it. We used the lighter to get that nice, crisp, burn look. Let's go ahead and do that on these other two pieces. 
With the hemp, we weren't really 100% sure how we were gonna go about the holes. We at first tried to just light it with a lighter and that was causing a lot of soot and char to sort of build up onto the material, which is not what we want. Um, then we were trying to use like <laughs> cigarettes, but again, we were getting a little too much soot, a little too much char. So then we just start, you know, came to the idea that we were just gonna cut out a general shape of how we wanted the burn to look. And then using a lighter, we were just gonna sort of torch those inner fibers um, to make it so that way it looked like a genuine burn. I'm here with Doug from Sonoran Roots about to add some hidden Easter eggs to the shoes. This step is inspired by the sample OVO 14s and 8s that I recently worked on. Underneath both insoles, it has the OVO's logos, so I thought it would be cool to do the same thing here. Let's get the laser engraving going. Good to go with the laser engraving of these lasting boards. Came out crispy, it's a hidden detail, but it matters. What's next, dude? So now we have this beautiful green calf skin against all odds, right? We had a pretty tough morning with this. Yeah, so again, this is about day three of this project. We just got this material in the mail and it didn't even get delivered to my house. It got delivered down the street. Had to go drive around, eventually I found it, thanks to our luck. Like I said, against all odds, we're here. So we're just gonna uh, trace out the patterns onto this material, cut it out, and get those pieces prepped. Right, where's the pattern? Let's do it. All right, so we have all of our pieces cut and prepped. Now we have to do that Jordan 1 iconic Wings logo. Okay, I gotta say, you're a magician with that exactly. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So we do got this beautiful ember orange hot foil. We're gonna be using the hot stamping machine to apply it onto the green leather. After that, we're gonna move on to the donor soles. We got this purple and brown Jordan 1 mids. It's perfect because we got the brown soles and we'll also be reusing the purple insoles. The Wings logo on the pair is something that probably looks a little out of place when you're first staring at the shoe if you didn't know that it was a 420 pair, that bright orange, but what we wanted to do was kind of represent uh, sort of an ember or a flame and have that characteristic because those two, those two things do really go hand in hand. All right, so we have our Wings logos applied. They came out amazing. We hit them with a little bit of matte finisher just to seal them and make sure that they stay protected. Vic did an amazing job peeling off those soles. I still have some work to go. We'll take care of the prep work later. We'll put these to the side for now. The next step is cutting out the swooshes. This is gonna be a cool way to tie in Sonoran roots. Jordan did a great job finding some cannibal teal suede. It's the perfect match. The magician's gonna go in and cut it out now. <laughs> All right, we have our Canamo Teal swooshes cut out and prepared. And our quarter panels. So the next step is we're gonna glue these on, stitch them up, and we're really gonna see the shoes start to come together. That's right, and this is my opportunity to watch and learn from the best. My stitching needs work, so this is a great moment. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, we have our stitches swooshed on. They look amazing. And now we have a lot of this dark green calf skin to get on. That's right. We're gonna have to go back and forth, stitch, glue, stitch, glue, but it's looking good. And when we get back, this thing's really gonna start looking like a shoe. That's right. While Jordan is sewing, we're gonna take care of the outsoles. Right now, we're not a big fan of the white. It's too bright, so we're gonna age it to match the concept. For this, we're gonna be using the coffee method.
I did, got the soles nicely aged. I was over there for a while, learned some cool new techniques when it comes to sewing. Where are we at now? We have our toes stitched, we have our collars stitched. Now all we have to do is add our heel pieces so that way we can attach our quarters to our collars. You did a lot of sewing, so basically all you gotta do now is connect all the pieces of the puzzle. This goes to that, this goes to these parts, yep. and the collars go to the part I just pointed at. Exactly, exactly. We're just gonna piece everything together. Uh, maybe not these quite yet, but all of these pieces will be one nice big piece. Um, and like I said, we're really gonna be able to see the shoe start to take. And after that, we still got like seven or eight more green pieces to go. We do have a, quite a few, but we'll, we'll get through them quickly. All right, I'll, I'll just watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll just watch. <laughs> All right guys, this is looking really cool. The shoe's really starting to come together. We got our tongues, the front of our shoes, and the rest of it. Now it's time to move on to the liner, right? Yep, so all we have to do is add our foams and our liners. We're gonna line the entire project, um, and then we're gonna close it up, and we're gonna be ready for lasting. What color are you thinking for the liners? I'm thinking we do a dark chocolate brown. A, because of those beautiful soles that you have and you coffee dyed them, so I really would like to pull some of the brown up, um, but also just because I think it's really gonna be a nice way to keep those earth tones in the project. I agree, dude. Let's see how you put the foam inside. Let's do it. Just to keep an overall uh, very luxurious look and feel, um, we were using mostly calf skins, Italian suede, and then it was lined goat suede. So it's really nice, really plush, very pillowy, and just feels amazing on foot. All right, everybody, this is day three of working on the project. It's really coming together. Off camera last night, Jordan and I did a lot of work on the right shoe. I learned a lot of cool tricks. Now it's time to show you guys what's next. That's right, so we just have our left shoe to go. We're gonna add our foams and our internal components, get them lined. We have our beautiful tongues made. Um, and soon enough, this shoe will look like that one. All right, let's show the viewers how it's done. Let's do it. We have our uppers built. Vic went to go get lunch, so while he's doing that, uh, I'm gonna get on to lasting. So lasting, we're gonna use this, which is called a shoe last. Um, it basically is a uh, plastic version of your foot, <clears throat> and it is specific to every model and size of that model that we're gonna be making. So these are a size 12 Jordan 1, so that's what these lasts correspond to. Now what I'm gonna do is take a lasting board and I'm gonna nail it to the bottom of this last right here and then I can take this uh, upper part of the shoe, place it over and then I stretch that leather around giving it that nice um, foot-like shape. So that's what we're gonna get onto now, let's do it. All right, so we have our shoes mostly lasted, um, but there was something that I wanted to show you all. We have to apply our toe counter, which is right here. And so this is, uh, it gets warmed up with heat, makes it pliable, and then it hardens once it cools. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this over right here in the front of the toe just to give it a little bit more reinforcement. I think there's a handful of customizers that inspire me. Um, Vic has always been somebody, not to, not to name drop Vic, but Vic's always been somebody who I've really looked up to. I think his consistency over the years um, speaks for itself, and obviously the quality of his work uh, really kind of helps him sh outshine uh, even some of the best painters in the game. So he's one. Shoe Surgeon would definitely be one that I looked up to. Um, Chase Shield is somebody who would help me out. He's from Australia. He helped me out a lot when I was first kind of uh, starting out. 
Um, Minute Maid Poppy was one that taught me, you know, pattern making and some certain things. So I'm really happy to have met him. Uh, there's a lot of people, and, and just kind of pulling those inspiration from the people that I see doing. All right, I'm gonna help out Jordan with the prep work. I already took care of the outsole using the Dremel. Real easy stuff. We gotta do the same thing over here on the upper. Right now, as is, the glue job will not hold up. We gotta roughen up the leather. So using the Dremel, we're gonna rough it up right underneath the line that Jordan just created. Prep is complete, now we're on to applying the glue. For this, we'll be using some bar super stick. We'll apply it onto the sole and the upper, a nice thin even coat with the paintbrush. Got the glue applied, we still have to let it cure. While we wait, we're gonna take care of these purple donor insoles. These are perfect for the customs. I also went ahead and cut out this brown vinyl. On one of them, we got the 420. That's gonna go on one of the insoles. And on the opposite, we got this brown agave. That's from Sonoran Roots. We're gonna heat press it on using this small iron. Back to the glue job. Off camera, I did this shoe. It looks really good. Now we gotta do this to the second shoe. Simply what we're gonna do is put the shoe inside the sole, heat up the sides and start sticking them together. The key is to make sure everything's aligned properly. After that, we're gonna take out the last, heat up the inside to make sure the glue is fully bonded all around the sole. To glue the soles on correctly, we're gonna line it up first and start at the very tip of the toe box and sole. To get the glue tacky, I use about four seconds of heat then I carefully start bonding it together. Once the front is good, I jump to the back and make sure it's also lined up perfectly. Then I finish it off by doing all the sides after that. Just make sure when doing this, you're getting enough heat inside the tight spots for a perfect bond all around. All right, dude, we got the soles applied. We basically got some shoes. What's next? All right, I know it sounds like a lot, but we're finally at the home stretch. We have a couple more things to do. We're gonna get these unlaced. We're gonna use this lasting jack and we're gonna take these lasts out so that way we can put those final stitches in, lace them up, and then have our project. Yeah, bro, let's wrap it up. Let's do it. Yep, yep, perfect. All right. Last step we gotta do is apply the stitching to the midsole. For this, we got our H thread for the outside and our white thread for the inside to hold it in place. For this, we'll be using our sewing awl. The 420 project was one that when we started to where we finished, we had the closest to our mock-up. So that was kind of nice being able to stick to a design and, and just refining it a little bit more. Working with hemp was a new one for me and overlaying it on top of the suede was a new one as well. You know, it's just kind of always the question of not really sure how things are going to look once they're over because in your head, things always look a little bit different. But I love the way that the project came out. I felt like all the colors really tied in well together with the Canamo teal swooshes, the embroidery on the tongue tag really helped that in. Vic did an incredible job on the soles. I mean, they just look perfect with the build. It's a really cohesive sneaker and it is a little crazier than I normally do, but I'm, I'm really happy that I've done them. This is one of the most unique Air Jordan ones I've ever seen. We got different textures and colors, hemp, suede, leather. What do you think about these, man? Honestly, this is a little outside of my comfort zone just from what I normally make, but I'm so happy that we went with all of these textures. Like you said, I think that pairing the smooth dark green calfskin with all of this wonderful hemp and this hairy suede really just accentuates that texture even more. And there's a lot of hidden details to it. We got the ember orange underneath the insoles. We laser engraved SR and a scorpion. We got these embroidered tongue tags. We got the custom made purple and green suede. Again, a lot of work went into these, but this is one of the coolest 420 projects ever, dude. I wanna say thank you so much for coming onto the channel and helping me with this project. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for challenging me and for helping me kind of work that creative muscle. I really do appreciate it. You kind of stretch me outside of my comfort zone with this, um, and I could not be happier with the result. That's the idea, man. I appreciate you so much. Big shout out to Sonoran Roots for making this project possible. Make sure you guys are subscribed because we got a lot of cool projects coming your way. This is Vic Almighty. And Jordan Diab. Catch you guys next time. See you guys. <laughs> Group hug in the showers. Yes. <laughs>